Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things, and today it is my three year anniversary on Booktube. So I've been on Booktube for three years now and I wanted to make a quick video today with a few kind of channel updates and stuff, um, and just generally talking about Booktube and having been on for three years, which feels like quite a long period of time, especially because it's been a time that's like seen quite a lot of changes in my life. Like I was still a student, I was doing my masters when I started my channel, and that feels like a really, really long time ago. Like a lot has changed. Um I guess it is a long time. This time last year, for my two-year anniversary on Booktube, I made a video about like having been on Booktube for two years and kind of what it meant to me, and I spoke about how I think Booktube is a nice, like a kind of measure of stability in some ways. My life has changed a lot over the last three years and it has been nice that what has not changed is that I put up two videos a week talking about books and obviously there have been some times where I haven't been able to quite do two videos a week or I took like a couple of weeks off earlier on this year but for the most part like that has been something that has been really stable about my life in times where not everything is stable um, and also something that has been really fun and always a nice thing in years that have been sometimes hard. Actually it is nice to have a happy place I can come and talk about books with. because Booktube makes me very very happy both in terms of the community and all the friends I've made and all the amazing books I've had like discovered through Booktube but also in terms of like I just I really enjoy making videos and chatting with people in the comments and like having this like bookish space and stuff so yes that was vague but anyway. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention is I recently reached 6,000 subscribers which is really lovely and a lot of people, sounds like a lot of people so Thanks guys for, for being here. It's nice that people want to hear me talk rapidly about the Victorians and other such things. Talking of the Victorians, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I started a series on my channel called the Not So Hypothetical Victorian Literature Course, where I had planned to do a video every two months and then later it became every three months, taking two Victorian books and looking at them in great detail and comparing them across a particular theme. I had decided now to stop that series. I spoke about this in the final episode of the Not So Hypothetical Victorian Literature Course where I looked at money in Our Mutual Friend and The Way We Live Now. I'll link that down below. But I mentioned in that video that I was going to stop and I have decided to stop doing that series. Um, basically just because it took up so much time and I wasn't really enjoying it anymore and I don't like I it so enjoy doing this channel and I so enjoy like every video I put up that I don't really want to have like a video, any video that kind of feels like a chore and like something I don't really want to do. I think it's mostly just the sheer amount of time, like if I had a lot more time in my life, if I didn't have a full-time job, I think it is the kind of series I would love to do and would love to make more of, but it was taking up so much of my time because effectively like into each video went the work that would have gone into a university essay when I was studying English literature at uni, like and I'm not a full-time student, I can't like do the research and the reading and the planning and then the filming for is effectively a video essay. Like, and while I enjoyed like the making, the editing and the planning took so long and was quite like exhausting. It just, it felt like a chore. It just wasn't something that I really was like driven to do all the time, which meant all the videos were always late. And also reading the books for them because it didn't feel like I could make that kind of in-depth analytical video without rereading these books was taking up a lot of my time, especially for the really, really long ones. It was taking up a lot of my reading time where I felt like I could be reading other books and I love rereading I really love rereading and I will continue to reread some of my old Victorian favorites but I also don't really want my rereading to be dictated by like video plans like I was thinking about doing a not so hypothetical Victorian literature course video on gender and I was thinking about doing it on Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens and The Egoist by George Meredith and so I was thinking about rereading these two books and like I read The Egoist two years ago, I don't actually feel like I need to reread it yet. And Dombey and Son I've read four times, like I also don't feel like I need to reread it again yet. I love it very much, it's one of my favourite books ever. I know I will reread it again in the future, maybe one day there will be a Victorian style read along of Dombey and Son, I would very much like to do that after Bleak House. But I don't feel the need to reread it now and it's in a thousand page book that takes up a lot of my time when I could be reading new Victorian books or rereading Victorian books that I've only read once and I haven't read for 10 years like The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I do not remember anything that happens in that book but I know I liked it and that I think is a, is a shame like I don't I do love rereading and I love rereading old favourites but I don't like want like huge chunks of my reading time to be taken up with reading stuff specifically to make a specific video when I just don't have that much time to read. Like, it seems silly that I was going to reread The Egoist by George Meredith before I've read any other of the rest of George Meredith's novels. Like I want to read the rest of his novels as well. So, so I wasn't 
really enjoying that series anymore. So I've just I've just decided to stop it. And I am really sorry because I know a lot of people were really enjoying it and were reading along with the books and stuff, but I just I don't really feel like I can commit to that at the moment. But although that Victorian related series is gonna be ending on my channel, I do want to start a new Victorian series, or sort of new, which will be Similarly to the not so hypothetical Victorian literature course, it will be looking at Victorian literature thematically. Last October I made a couple of videos that I absolutely love making. One on Victorian books that look at class really interestingly, one on Victorian books that look at gender really interestingly, and one on Victorian books that have like LGBTQ plus undertones. I would really like to make more videos like that, recommending Victorian books around a particular theme, and I think this is what's going to replace the not so hypothetical Victorian literature course, and I'm not like going to guarantee how often they'll be up, but I think every now and then, a few times a year, I want to make videos recommending a few different Victorian books, which I think are really interesting in terms of Victorian explorations of a particular theme, so I might choose science, or religion, or the gothic, or madness, or respectability, and so on. Like. I will probably use quite a lot of the themes that I have been planning to look at in the Knots Hypothetical Victorian Literature course, but in a way that means I can talk about more books and I can talk about and recommend books that I haven't read for a while without feeling that I can't be like analytical or in depth enough, if that makes sense. Another channel plan that I want to talk to you about, which I'm very excited about, is that I'm going to be hosting a new readathon in July, which I'm going to be hosting with Marissa from Blatantly Bookish. I'll link her channel down below. And that is going to be a readathon all based around Jane Austen. The Austenathon, I think we will probably call it. It's going to be from the 16th of July to the 29th of July, and there'll be an announcement video coming up in a few weeks talking through all the different challenges that we're going to have and just talking about Jane Austen and we're going to be reading lots of Jane Austen and lots of things about and surrounding Jane Austen and also there's going to be lots of Jane Austen related videos and just really really excited because Jane Austen is one of my favourite authors ever, I love her and she's also one of my favourite classic authors and she's probably like my only favourite classic author who's not a Victorian and every time I talk about the Victorians I just like a slight part of me just is sad that I can't also talk about Jane Austen so I'm really looking forward to this readathon and Marissa loves Jane Austen a lot as well and we chat about Jane Austen a lot so I think this is going to be really, really fun. Again, I'll link her channel down below and there will be more about this very, very shortly and I hope a lot of you are going to join in with the readathon. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I'm going to try and put up videos slightly more regularly. I know I put up two videos a week and that's already quite a lot, but I think I'm going to not aim for three videos a week, but I'm going to allow myself to put up three videos a week sometimes. Basically, I upload on a Monday and Thursday, but I think sometimes I'm also going to upload on a Saturday just with like extra bonus videos. I often film quite a long way in advance and I often plan quite a long way in advance and I often end up like seeing a really interesting tag video that I want to do or reading an interesting book that I want to make an individual review of and then I look at like the like schedule I've created for myself of the videos I'm going to do in the next two months and I'm like well I don't have space for two months because I have all these other videos I need to do. I think especially because I'm hosting two read-longs at the moment that's every month I have my Bleak House video, my a Dance the Musical Time video and a reading wrap up. That's like three videos out of 12 or 13 a month that are already taken up just by like regular monthly things. And sometimes I end up like having videos that I film and then they don't go up for like six weeks and they don't feel like as relevant anymore to like the discussion or the tag that's been going around or whatever. And I just feel like sometimes if I have time to film more videos, then I could just like, I don't need to be so strict with my schedule and I can just have an extra video. So yes, there might be more videos for me in the future, there might not. If I'm really busy, there will be two videos a week. But I think especially for tag videos and review videos, which tend to like occur to me spontaneously to do, and I don't plan as far in advance, maybe they will be every now and then on a Saturday. So there might be more videos, we'll see. One final thing that I did want to mention is that I have created a survey on SurveyMonkey for you to give me your feedback about my channel. I see lots of other booktubers do this and I've never done it, I don't really know why, because actually I think it would be quite useful for me to get your feedback on a few questions. There's only like, I think six or seven questions, so it's not going to take you very long, but I would be really, really grateful if people would fill out that survey because it would give me a good sense of like what people enjoy on my channel, what they might like to see differently or more of, or any suggestions and that kind of stuff. So yes, I think that's all a slightly rambly update with things to come on my channel and things that will no longer be coming. I am sorry about the not so hypothetical Victorian literature course, but I just, yeah, I can't really face doing it at the moment. That sounds so silly. I was like enjoying some aspects of it, but it was just too overwhelming a project, I think. Thank you very much for sticking with me and for making my three years on booktube very, very nice. And I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.